So I just, again, I'm just going straight into another wizard mode. Uh, the wizard is undeterred. Double Wizard is here. Let's see what sort of star we get this time. I kind of want it. I want this one to have a non standard, like, direction opening. Like, that last one, we basically just did the entire game in order fast. Uh, this one, I want, um, something else. I want money. Something break the mold. Yeah. So speaking of wizards, um, the game that I recently got back into for a little bit that I just sort of forgot existed for several years was uh, Wizorb. Ooh. Wizorb is uh, a breakout where you play as a wizard and you just like it's breakout it's Arkhamard like what do you want from me but yeah. it's fun it's, it's got a good like wizard cackle dot jpeg yeah wizard cackle dot jpeg is very very strong I remember that about that, that's what I remember alright red scarf Yeah, Wizorb is a is an older one. It's been around for some time. It's 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 near a, a, a sort of elemental game where it's just very simple game, but we added a wizard to it. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to sell because it's like it's breakout. Right. It, it tells you everything that you need to know from that one word. But at the same time, like, yeah, love a good breakout. Oh, boy. We got Basilisk, everybody. Which, um, let me see if you can mm. see. Just, just tank. Tank your offense. I guess if I were a true wizard, that'd be fine. I think spells go off of strength, not attack. Oon! You were talking about liking those mines. Ah. Uh, no, yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> the principle is the same. I understand. I get you. Yeah. But no, half your offense to increase your defense by like that much is no, not worth it. Ooh, skeleton gave me a weapon. It's not a great weapon, but it's a weapon. I, I kind of, I kind of wish that spears were actually good in Arya of Sorrow. <laughs> yeah, they do damage. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Come on. Wiggle, wiggle. Got him. Indeed, Shabadoo, we are on the, the, the bonus. This is round two. You like heavy weapons? Here's oh the boy, Warhammer. So we are Warhammer. 
the weakness of it, as you can kind of tell by some of these attacks I'm doing, is it has this, like, shadow. This, like, rain shadow to it. Where, like, if you're too close, it won't hit. Yeah, it's only... Yeah, it's like the rod is not doing any damage. It's not a full circle, it is an arc. Yeah. It's also minus a thousand on everything. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if we're, 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 we're talking, like, the, the, uh, the, the, how many frames you give up to attack with it, um, it's like minus 20, <laughs> like, it's, it's so slow. Like, look at this, look at this, and, and, I, so I am holding left. That's just how long the cooldown is on, like, your ability to do any action, so... Alright, uh, we got the actual Red Scarf. Um, is that the uh, Great Sword? You know what, I'll take it. Considering your options right now, yeah. Like, it does not have that giant, like, landing leg. It also doesn't have the, uh, uh, like, archer's shadow. That, like, yeah, like, it's hard to describe when you're just watching how fucking abysmal the hammer feels compared to a sword. Even though they have the same arc, it's just like... God, the sword feels so much snappier. Hmm. hmm. Is that a Sherman ring? Uh, oh, a rune ring. Okay. Yeah, rune ring. Which is the MP restore ring. I should have been using that. There's also the soul I can't, like... Usually you can kind of finesse that sort of thing, but I don't have any, like, ranged souls that go through walls. Yeah, we don't really have much to speak of at the moment. Just like, Winged Skeleton gets stuck in a wall when you throw it. So you can't, like, use it to grab the through walls items. Oh, wait, did you get Killer Mantle? Yes. Huh. Jeez, must have slipped my mind. Hmm, wonder. No, okay. Okay, I was just checking to see if the Trident had enough reach for that. So we'll have to know if there's a yellow soul to come back for. Ah, Hunter's had a dead zone. That's... that's tragic. Yeah, the only MMO I ever got myself into was FF14. And I've always felt pretty good about that one. I mean, if you're going to do an MMO, 14. It's pretty good. Alright, let's beat through some skeletons. Another trident. What are those sell for? That might be worthwhile. Hmm. 
14's advantage is that it has a ton of money and a ton of talent behind it that all love what they're doing. <laughs> Very apparently. Oop. And... Huh! Well, second verse, same as the first, is what they're trying to say. I'm gonna not listen to that. Yeah, horse can take a rest. Give me, give me lightning doll. Give me... Um... Flame well, demon. You know my personal preference. Wheel would also be great. Wheel, that would be a good one too. Give me, um... Legion be fine. Give me Red Minotaur if I'm gonna beat up final boss with something. Oh, all right. That's the that's a second verse same as the first. I'm not going to pass up. Uh, like Black Panther is just sort of the staple of all randomizer. Getting it this early is always a treat. Like, Black Panther is not a matter of playstyle, it is just flat, expedient, convenient. Yeah. Let's see. So we're still going to chapel. A big part of that is that's literally right here, and there's, you know, the big kind of set of items. Why do I feel like you'll find grapes in the chapel? No. I I don't know. I just don't know why I suddenly... No, I get, like, I my, get... sense, my spider sense has kicked in or something. Skull necklace, all right. Okay, that is the ob objective opposite yeah. of the yeah. grapes. Can't, uh... Can't get there. Can't get my point and can't get my... Wait a minute, what did I, what did I just hit? What in the world? This enemy always been in this room. Uh, have there always been dark ghost? Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I was going to ask if. No, they're just uh, weird. Couple items up here, and it's Melfus. We're leaving. Well, for one, I want to go get the uh, the black belt because that's a big upgrade. For two, this uh, setup lets me go basically anywhere I want. Oh, a presence of mimic can mess with pallets. I see. Uh, yeah, like, I was thinking it was a palette problem. I couldn't for the life of me identify why, though. Okay, so now we have a double jump. We can get the cream puff and the black belt. Black belt's sweet, because that's a uh, plus four strength. And then let's get out of here. And I, like I said, we're going to take a different routing this time. No, um... Not gonna just go straight to, um, you know, study and do everything in order. We're gonna we're gonna do some off tilt things. Just to say, hey, we... that's that's also study's fault for being so out of the way. Yeah, like uh, it probably would have been a good idea to, to beat up Manticore and grab the warp. 
but I don't care. Presence of MS can mess with palette systems, Castlevania 2 ass dialogue. Key. Do not look at the black ghost or you will die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till the season of Castlevania where they run into the village of Castlevania 2 NPCs. I really need to watch season 3. I still can't get that. But I can get this upper item, which is a broadsword. Okay. So, can I really not get that? Nope, I get it. Okay. That hunter. Sweet. Thanks, that hunter. Okay, so this is where I want to go. I'm going to take this route. You know, this is the back way into Inner Quarters. I didn't realize you actually could get into Inner Quarters with just Malthus. You can get into it with Malthus Flying Armor or Malthus um, uh, Black Panther. You need one or the other. <laughs> the best part of our is the tiny furniture. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm sad that this is not a game where you can sit in furniture. I'm a big fan of just the Castlevania games where you can sit in things. Okay, we don't have hammer yet. No reason to go back. So as Black Panther does, I'm getting my ass murdered by just running in enemies. Another, well, that's another pudding. And Lilith this time. It wasn't one run two. Running our way down um, as best we can, trying to find the secrets of Dracula's house. Uh, just got done with Chapel. Decided to take a stop over at Inner Quarters, and we're about to fight Headhunter. Yep. Here we go. So I oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I've... So I know that feeling exactly, County Kittens. I watched Kaz stream not randomizers, but like challenge runs of Aria about a dozen times before I ever played the game. To the point where like I knew the map, but I didn't know anything like normal about the game because even on like challenge runs. It would still be like really weird, like, you know, n you take weird routes, like let's do death early, let's do, because you can go to death right after you get Malthus, you don't have to do inner quarters or um, the, uh, the uh, uh, dance hall. I did do a stream of just a very normal playthrough. That was the first Aria playthrough I ever did. I think it's a, seven year old stream at this point oh my god we've been it's, doing this for a while uh, i know it's it's on the youtube zone that's where that one's just sitting around i can damage race again like a lot of what we a lot of uh, our experience with the randomizer is informed by our knowledge of the original game's layout to an extent. Yeah. But at the same time, we're just doing the randomizers and challenge runs and shit so often that the original OG experience of the game is just a distant memory at this point. 
Yeah, but this yeah. Is the game for us now. It's it's it's. You know, I know what is in every. Hey, we're at plus two. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can keep that plus. Ooh, a rush soul. But yeah, it was so like one of the oldest videos, sets of videos on uh, my YouTube is really Galawath right there. All right, hold on, let me. <laughs> Excuse me, I got to backtrack. Yeah, one one of the oldest sets of videos is a a just a normal playthrough. I think it has its own playlist. If it doesn't, I should give it one. Um, that's something I've been kind of doing as of late. I realized there are a lot of old playthroughs that just didn't have, um... Like... Playlists, so they were just gone, you know? It's like the depths of YouTube somewhere. Like, how the hell are you gonna find, like... Video, you know, if you don't know they exist, how would you ever find and order correctly all of the videos of, like, when I played through System Shock 2? I mean, and also YouTube doesn't want you to find videos in order even when you order them deliberately. I know, so. it's really annoying. Like, even when you order them deliberately, a lot of the times it'll be like, well, that's nice, they're in a playlist, why don't you go from video one to video six? Is this what you wanted? Well, that's what the computer said that you wanted, so that must be what you wanted. No, give me, give, give me the videos in order, please. Yeah, the System Shock 2 one was me and Kim doing um, System Shock 2. Uh, just, and then I think there's, there's a couple other like older ones on there that are just like, you know, very... Ooh, hey, Gravekeeper. <laughs> hey. Exactly. I love System Shock 2, Ken and Ken. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, I've, like... It's it's a uh, it's really goddamn good. I played it a number of times. Uh... Oh, let's, let's put the mine down. Mine is very silly. But yeah, you'll find all sorts of things on there. That's that's the whole point of I guess the the YouTube zone, ain't it? I'm one of those people that saves all the streams I do. I am... Yeah, I value archiving digital media and history a lot, <laughs> so... Yeah. It's just kind of my bag as well. Yeah, there, there are... It is very few and far between where I have a stream that I don't put the video up. I think the only times... Ooh, great armor. That one's... Actually, not so great. The only ones that I haven't been putting up as of recently have been like the uh, the race ones, the specifically like the the ones where like Kaz has the 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 restream of everything, because I feel like that's just the better one to watch. So, I recall my first and only playthrough. You fell into uh, many build traps and just yeah. System Shock 2 is a game that has, is old, and definitely has traps. You can make mistakes in your build, and they're objectively useless. It sucks. But the game is also really sweet. Huh, I completely forgot that you can hit Big Golem in places other than the head. Always hit Big Golem in the ankle. Always hit everyone in the ankle. Always hit Tsuchinoko in the face. Goodbye, Tsuchinoko. Oh god, that is one of the best aspects of the randomizer free. Not having to farm Tsuchinoko. Oh my god. Freaking farming Tsuchinoko. It's so bad. Thousand Fleeman jump on. That's the thing, too. It's like 
the randomizer inherently improves a lot of the experience of the game. I really like a lot of the the like soul canisters existing. Those those aren't a, a normal thing. Yeah. I'm just like making sure that everything stays in logic to a point where you cannot soft lock and that just ends up making the experience better for everyone. Yeah. All right. So we have upper um, dance hall to check out. That's the like area behind these minotaurs. <laughs> Black cloak. God, Wazen with a fucking deep cut to Goemon 64. Another <laughs> really good game that everyone should play. <laughs> Ever since Ben K was hit with the Achilles heel, it meant that you had to strike the weak point of someone. What? Just don't ask it. Just don't question it. It's just how it works. Come on over here, buddy. Need your help. Okay. Final item in this area is... Soldier's uniform. War fatigue. God damn it. So let's um let's do it. We got Gravekeeper, we got the Yeah, exactly. Count of Kittens. The reason I did these in order is because there wasn't a way to leave until we hit the next warp point once I fought Headhunter. So it's like, well, I might as well clear out where I'm at. Um Oh my god, am I really gonna try to fight? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's go fight Baylor with Greatsword. <laughs> That'll be a pretty normal fight. Okay, we actually want to take... the normal exit, or the uh, normal entrance here. They get warped. We get warped to like, our correct position in that cutscene. The reason I want to take this exit is because there is an item on this exit. I don't want to, like, forget it. You know? Arena skip is one of those uh, tricks that I would like to have there, just be able to do, but I wouldn't want it to be in logic, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Ooh, and our prize is giant bat. Huh. Nice. Nice on. That's a... That's a real good one for taking this side. Still no hammer. Let's go check these pair of items. We can actually grab because of Giant Bad if we need to. We don't need that. And the other one up here is... Some tea. Alright, so let's go heal up. And then head over to... Floaty Gardens and go, uh... Make our move. Milk. Okay. Right, skeletons that basilisk soul. There's one scene I remember where where skeletons were dropping like a uh, some katana worth like um two thousand bucks. That sounds like Osafune if I'm not full of shit. Yeah. And like it's like, alright, so I just like ran through that skeleton room a bunch and made like ten grand or you know, a hundred grand. Actually, hold on, while I'm here, let's check the other item quick. No reason not to check this one. It is Burkgang, which uh, Burkgang is a better weapon. Sure. Hmm.
I'm not entirely sure what type of tea Dracula would most enjoy, though if Castlevania HD is to be believed, he's a huge fan of foie gras. <laughs> Fucking Hermes shoes, come on, I just want that one drop so I can leave. Anyway, welcome. It's arena time. Soul Eater Ring! Oh, hello. Ooh, give me that. That is some shit you don't normally see in these runs. Yeah, there's, there's a, kind of a set of items that you just kind of don't see in, in runs like these. That's, that's one of them. Soul Eater Ring is basically one of those like, things you make jokes about in the original game and was just lost to the March of Ages in the randomizer. Like, I have never seen Soul Eater Ring in a single goddamn run of these. Okay, that went horribly. Let's try that again. Um, trying to, trying to do this side room here before I go do, um, our fight. Flesh Golem. <laughs> Do we even have any rotten items yet? I don't know. Gold Ring. Alright. And the one, two, three, four, five. All right, um... We'll just do Baylor. We'll do the other, we can do the other two rooms afterwards. Chomp. Like, it's a good fake out when you first go in. Mm -hmm. Especially since the giant bat is your prize in normal Aria. Yep. That and, like, Bad Company has been a fight for a lot of Castlevanias before. Alright, so our damage here sucks. 34 is under half of what I had the last time I did this. But I don't care. You do this fight with like 10 damage, wouldn't matter. Baylor is the, the fight in the, is the boss fight in this game I feel most confident about. I wasn't a huge fan of Baylor and Dawn of Sorrow, because like, they done him dirty. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's a good amount of class that goes into Arya Baylor's design. Oh, I don't like the perfect sync up. I could use that not being on. There we go. The perfect sync up gives me a little bit of trouble because there's not an easy in-between window. And there it is. Agreed, Chachi. But yeah, like, nowhere near as big. It's 
So the real reason this is possible is just because this weapon has so little lag time. Okay, I, I, one thing I did like about the Baylor fight in that game is the giant eye laser that, uh... That Baylor had. That was it rad. had a good eye laser, yeah. That was rad as hell. Oh, what's our prop? Wow! A real prize. I'll take that. I mean, we have Giant Bat already, so it's not like we're, we're, we're in... Uh, we're hurting for vertical movement, but that's vertical movement I don't have to go, um... make changes for, you know? Alright, Hippogriff. And that right there should tell you exactly how far behind I am. Oh, you want ice? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I just kind of figured that... You know, I hadn't even thought about it. There you go. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it either. I was just trying to be polite. Sorry. No, no, no. That's, that's all right. That's, that's on me. I, I, I should have... I should have realized. Soul set. Uh, giant pet. And I don't care about your... All that for missile tank. Showing off this every once in a while. I have no idea if that's intentional or not. But that wall is fake for a one by one square that you can giant bat through. Yeah, the, the wall has an opening you can giant bat through. It's not big enough to jump through. But you can giant bat through it. The, yeah, I don't. I. I have no idea if that's like an intended thing or not, but I'm always glad to 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 show people more knowledge about this game. Whoa. Is that? Uh, uh, Burmasa? Yeah. Sure looks like it. Alright, um, that's worth going and grabbing. And? Hey! I don't care if it's the same as last time. We, we, we using it. We in it. Lubigan can help right now. Okay. Alright, and then let's go uh, pick up... Let's go pick up our, our Muramasa then. That's a weapon worth grabbing right now, especially when our weapon is what? Burt Gong? No, um... Yeah, Burt Gong. Yeah, just Burt Gong. <laughs> Alright, Skull Million. What secrets do you have? Don't mind me just casually using... Yeah, Muramasa. So it's slightly weaker than Bird Gong, but... You also notice that its damage number has like this, like, additional component. So what it is is that this weapon does curse damage. There's a thing done by, like, two things in the game. This weapon and Siren. So, it, basically, it's doing its normal damage 
So enemies that are susceptible to it, which is not every enemy, but enemies that are susceptible to it, it's doing its normal damage plus a percentage of current HP. I don't even remember. I'd, I'd have to look at the formula and know the exact, but it's doing percentage of current HP uh, okay. uh, as additional damage. So not, so not even anything to do with dark damage specifically. It is cursed damage. Yeah, it's like... It, it, it's just like... Yeah, it just does gravity, right? Like, yeah, it's just gravity. Okay. So you're doing your 100 damage plus whatever per, per, like percent of current HP. 20 or something, I don't know. It's it's nice. Yeah, <laughs> again, it's not something you notice because Siren is only one soul, and it's not very powerful. It's just a little note uh, that has that go along with it. And then, um... Oh, shit, I forgot to check the hot tub. Whoops. Let's quick go. I, that's the other thing, too, that a random that the randomizer really heavily encourages. Um, you can learn all sorts of shit that you would never have known about weapons in this game. Right, like, you take a look at Murrah at, at this weapon, its stats are quite low. That's a mimic. Hold this. <laughs> okay, well, uh... So Iron Golem and uh, Black okay. Panther is the ultimate I'm a genius oh no tech. Yeah. Thank you Omni. Okay. 20% th was what I was eyeballing it at. Uh, 25 Omni says 25%. So that's good to know. Yeah, just from eyeballing, I was thinking 20%, because it's like, you know, f five hits to victory, you know? Like, I guess the idea behind its description is that it's hungry for blood, i.e. it is consuming the blood of its enemies, and once it runs low on blood, it's just like, well, I'm full. Yeah, there's no blood here left. But the thing is, you you don't notice that usually because you get this, you get this weapon much later, and, like, you look at its stats comparatively... Like Dark Gang outclasses it. Mistletane is almost is almost as good as it. You know, it's it's by the time you get it, it's like, oh, I don't know, it doesn't look very good, so you don't try it. Uh randomizer kind of forces you to try a lot of weapons. I think my favorite that we ever found was the uh Is it Vajra? Not Vajra, um There was a, a lightning weapon that's like the coolest goddamn weapon I've ever gotten to use. Or Mamamisms. Yeah, Muramasa oh, like is Indra all... or something. It's like basically you're you're casting a lightning doll as your attack, but it's really Ooh. quick and you do like twenty multi hits. So like against enemies with no defense, you shred them, and against enemies with any defense, you don't do damage. It's really fun. Again, it's really good against enemies that don't have defense, because the way defense works is it's just attack my Wait. Uh or you could shred them with something else. Okay. Multi-hit, was it? I will show you how. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, here I am talking about multi-hit. <laughs> Let me just show where Jaguar how to do some punches. Yeah, Vajra, yeah, th okay. Anyway, this is like that, but this thing owns... It's not as powerful as it was when it was, what, the Chrysogrim? Or was it? Chrysogrim, yeah, in Symphony of the Night. Yeah. It's still rad as hell. I it, mean, the Valmont yeah. way in this game was made with that in mind. Alright. Legion fight the next. Um... Do you have a good way to deal with you? So obviously this this doesn't really do a lot here. It's 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 hilarious. Uh, it's just not very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It was it it just has a different name. Um. So that's not the weapon I want. I don't think this thing takes curse damage either. That'd be incredible if this goddamn. I don't think bosses take curse damage. 
That's the other thing that kind of makes these weapons not so good. I have Missile Tain. Back to basics. Yeah, like, the Japanese name in Symphony of the Night was still Valman Way. It's just that we refer to Symphony of the Night's version specifically as Chris Agrim because it's a good way of, like, distinguishing it, the most busted-ass version of Valman Way <laughs> ever, from all the other Valman Ways that came after. Damn it, this is... Okay, so I don't have an easy out on this. Let's just... Hmm... I guess we're just gonna missile our way through this. I don't really see an easy out. Yeah, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of Lord of the Rings ah. stuff in the localization. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, this rules. <laughs> Just, I have never seen this soul before. I've seen River, but I didn't realize it, like, could stick like that. Like, do, like, seven hits. Oh, da -da. Maybe because it's moving? Whatever, it's cool. Always, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm always happy to have something new happen. Th this certainly tracks. I guess usually when I use Ripper, you know, like, because I think that's what Ripper, yeah, it sticks in a number of times, but it usually kills things, so I don't think about how many ticks it gets off, right? Yeah. Or you think about its hit, you don't even think about its hitbox because it's so small. Yeah. Because you can see the knife also falls off at sort of random. <laughs> Y'all like numbers? Yeah, this is the Legion I encounter the most. It's not the my, my favorite as far as Legion goes, because, like, when I think of Legion, I do think of, like, um... I guess it's... Grand Falloon. Grand Falloon. And Grand Falloon's goddamn huge. Right, like... Okay, hold on, can I... Like, this version of Legion does still get the point across, but also it's just, like... You're standing in a giant field of corpses that this thing is made out of. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little bit of food here, not too much. Right, we're not going for the soul, I'm going to go for the victory here. Like, I'm not going to fault uh, Arya for this one, just because the spectacle and sympathy in the night could only have been made possible through the PlayStation versus, you know, the limited tech you have on display here. And they've got some really goddamn good work coming out of this. Yeah. So. Yeah, so one thing I'll show here, I've talked about it a lot. You don't get the soul from Legion if you do a, uh... wait. If you don't, if you don't kill all four parts, because the orb doesn't open and like drop the soul, that's a, that's like a, a a like, you know, yeah, there's two different animations. It's a certain thing. So, but the soul is also always Malthus in the randomizer. Hey, scimitar. So I don't care. Hey. It's not like I was gonna get Legion soul. I. Hey, Melon, how you doing? 
Love melon. Right, yeah, play. I said it. The, the power of the Sony PlayStation, because <laughs> that generation, that console cycle could actually do some really goddamn good to the if they were allowed to. Way to get stuff you mistakenly do that on a rando. Yeah, the thing to know about it is that on the basic randomizer settings, um, Melfus is always the soul drop there because Melfus is what you need to leave here. And if you don't have Malthus, you cannot leave. Is it like just Malthus or any mobility soul that gets you out of here? I'm pretty certain. I I have seen it as Malthus like two dozen times. Okay. Te technically, Hippogriff would be legal because it would get you out, but I cannot recall seeing it as Hippogriff. All right. Alright, you jerk. Uh, I mean, I don't know, Zombo Ace. Maybe maybe the N64 games were diamonds in the rough and I just didn't realize. Wait, no, I don't want to go up yet. I want to grab this item first. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Give me that gun! I remember the N64 games being sufficiently weird, having like a day-night component and like uh, time passage, like, I never played them, but as a kid it's like I owned an N64 and uh, Nintendo Power, so that was how I was aware of them. You want to know how much the N64 Castlevania games failed to stick in my mind? I didn't even realize that they were Castlevania games plural. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, um... Look, Shabu brings up the, the... The best part. Motorcycle skeleton. Well, like, let's be real. Um... I have a rush soul. Do I have? I don't think I have uh, walking on water. No. I don't think you got undyne yet. Hmm. Hey, Arbold. I think. Let's go do death. God, how did I not remember that there was a second N64 Castlevania game? Uh, so today, our, the, the things we have available to us are we got the Soul Eater Ring quite early, and we've been using the, the Muramasa as our weapon, which is really rad. The Muramasa does curse damage, which gives it the ability to do percentage damage based on an enemy's current health. So, if you're fighting an enemy who can take curse damage, the first hit will do like 200, then 150, then 100, then like, you know, they'll be dead. But it's pretty great. It has underwhelming stats for the time in which you find it normally, but the curse damage stacked onto it is uh, what gives it away. Yep, so we were here earlier, um, we didn't clear the area, so what I'm going to do now is grab the five items in the floating gardens, and then talk to our friend Kicker Skeleton for fun, uh, and then, ah, oh, Sherman Ring. Yeah, again, yeah, Mur Muramasa is a rare drop from, um, wait, is that, oh, Gungnir, okay. Yeah, Gungnir. Uh, it's a rare drop from Lubicant to late game enemy, so... Back through here. Hi, how you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna have to play the second N64 Castlevania game because folks in the, in the zoo are saying some very wild shit about it, and it's got my interest peaked. Yeah, I never did play it, so I'm not. I've only watched a speed run of the first one. That's what I'm familiar with. 
and it having a lot of like weird physics and kind of like this point where you have to carry nitroglycerin around and you can't jump or run or else it'll blow up. <laughs> okay, anyway. The one where vampire is a status effect. Alright, here's a clock tower. Yeah. Oh, damn it, I should have thrown a knife going into that cutscene. Uh, what's the name of that game for reference? Which one? Uh, the second Castlevania game. I was just asking the zoo so that we can stop calling it the second Castlevania oh. game. Legacy of Darkness? Legacy of Darkness. Hell yeah. Okay, mm. well. Mm. Nailed it. I was just like, like, wait, is that Lament of Innocence? No, that's the PS2 one. See, oh, the Lament is the is one I... Like, of all the, like, odd Castlevanias, you know, th th these Castlevanias, Symphony of the Night, Aria is a lot more well-known because it's a more standard one. Of the odder ones... Oh my god, we're at plus three. God damn. Yeah, that's Hippogriff in the Clock Tower, all right. Yeah, um... But uh, 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 Lament is the one I know the most of. Uh, I've never played Curse. I watch. I've watched Kaz play Curse to completion a number of times, and it's a it's a pretty rad game. Uh, it's got chairs. It's got familiars. Lament was a very different game. There's uh, because Bloodstain had a. <laughs> it's all kind of melding together at this point. <laughs> Just stick a knife in a death scythe, it's fine. No, it's like moving and it gets rid of it. That's annoying. Alright, this... How do you like this? Yeah, I'd like to just sort of preemptively request no spoilers on Season 3 of Castlevania. I need to sit down and watch that. Yeah. Alright, round two. Get close to me. You idiot. You idiot, you fool. You absolute moron. I can't believe I just... <laughs> I blasted death 5,000 <laughs> times directly in the nuts, <laughs> taking him out entirely. Just instantly obliterated. And we get the rare ring. I am really glad we've got this weapon as a, as a plan. It's sweet. But yeah, Curse of Darkness is... There's only one Curse of Darkness. It's a PS2 game. It was the... Second PS2 Castlevania after Lament. Um, Legacy of Darkness is the uh, second N64 game. Uh, familiar, like, you know, they both have Of Darkness, but they're different games. And the other curse game that I'm confusing the other PS2 game with is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Yes. It's whenever a character shows up on screen, I holler, is that Grant Dynasty? <laughs> And I am wrong more than I am right, and I will never stop. Okay, fine. I guess I'm not winning that one. <laughs> Enemy's all about threes. Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> All these threes keep popping around the golem, and Soma's like, my stand is already active. Alright, so we want... Mari Harba Dynasty. First things first. Just gonna... Hang it up. 
Well, I'm thinking. Let's hang out with our buddy. Um, oh, I think we gotta go pick up Hammer, finally. Yeah. Goodbye to our, our friend and ally of justice, Kicker Skeleton. This has been a fun excursion outside, but uh, now it's time five, to get five, back five, to five, 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 five. I thought things would be different, but they weren't. <laughs> I still just got punched. <laughs> oh, I'll have your number sooner or later. That was something. <laughs> it's like that part of Dragon Ball Z where Vegeta won't stop the fireball barrage. <laughs> it never works. Alright, so now we're finally on Hammer. Uh, this is probably where we're going to find either everything... Actually, no, no, you know what? I, I refuse... Ooh, Nemesis. Ooh, that's a good mm. one. It's the Go Invisible one. Um, I refuse. Uh, to go do hammer quite yet. We can go to top floor. Right here. There's like a bunch of items on top floor and we have a lot of experience because we already beat up um our, our, our good friend. Uh, we don't. We just don't have armor. Okay, uh, let's try that round two. Ooh. Oh, hey! All right. Hey, school. Uh... I mind up. I'm gonna pass by the lubricant Stolas room. Goodbye, Stolas. Can you grab the warp? But I'll grab it on the way out. Let's go grab the save, though. Ooh, Actually, what? have we have we gotten a single piece of knowledge yet? We've got nothing right now. I have no idea what we could possibly need. Yeah, watch it all be in the study. Right? Like, it's gonna be two books in Forbidden Zone again, right? Well, maybe there's knowledge over here. Mandragora. Uh, something possibly tangentially related to knowledge. Yeah, it could be. I mean, that could be the red soul we need. Ah, wrong spear. spear. Not a bad weapon. Just spears suck. It's it, yeah, it's a spear. Hey. It's Andrew Okay, of course yeah, it is. cool, great. Why, right. Got him. We didn't even need that book. We the moment we got that Mandragora, it was like, oh god, don't don't do that. All right, um, let's leave. We have Skula. Um, I guess I'm gonna go grab. Oh, check this out. <laughs> the Valmont Way is so fun. <laughs> Dumb puzzle out of here. All right, let's go grab the warp point. As well as the item down at the bottom. Because there is an item in the right room here. Book two! Okay, yeah. Heavily armored soldier built out of. <laughs> Whoa! Are that's you okay? number one you want to see. Oh my god, what if you just delete Lubicant? I love that animation too because it looks like he's trying to deflect all of your moves in the spear twirl and it just does not right. work at all. It's like stun walking. 
damn, that's good. <laughs> okay, um... Just call me Star Platinum, because I can't beat the shit out of you without getting close. <laughs> I've got Skula, but, like, what if I don't need to do that, right? Basically, any time I can avoid doing Skula, I will choose to. But yeah, the, uh, uh, I love, I love how, how fast this weapon is. It's, again, not as good as, uh, our good friend, uh, Chris Graham, but just... The fact that I can move like this... This is what speed... This is what true power is. Obliterating everyone who's not your friend. That Skeleton Knight is my friend. Yeah, they say that Castlevania spent the rest of its life paying for Crusagrim, and then you're just sort of dashing with this shit out, and then there's... Nah. Excellent, Arbold. Enjoy, enjoy part three. Part three is very fun. Yeah, it, good turn of blood stain with a weapon that went exactly like this. Hey, death! Okay, this is where we left. We got Alphas and left. All right, I've still got my knife. Flame Demon. On. Oh. Looks like a cut all. I mean, you kind of have cut all plus 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 right here. Yeah. Ah. That's a series I've not yet played, Chachi, but I, I've heard very good things about. I just completely forgot about Neo because Sekiro exists. Th that was part of it, but I've, I've heard good things about it, so it's something I, I want to at some point check out. Hey! Knowledge. Are you ready? This demon collects the severed heads. Okay, we have Headhunter. We can just go. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave this way, because there is a... So, how confident do you feel about Valman Way v. Julius? No, I... Oh, uh, extremely. You know why? Four hit stuff. Mm. Oh. Are there points in his attack pattern where he does not have plus? Uh, so the four hit stun stops working after um after the 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 grand cross. Nice, 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 nice. So, yeah, I think about liberties taken with history, specifically with the Oda Nobunaga period, and then I think about like Onimusha when Jean Reno went back to feudal Japan to stop Oda Nobunaga from fusing with demons. <laughs> God, that was such a smart game. Uh, I, I I accept like. There's no such thing as anything that's gonna be historically accurate. So, like, if, if you're if you're doing telling a story in fiction, because there's the tension of telling a story in a game and having fun, or having telling your point of view of a of a story. 
That's not to say that it isn't important to maintain knowledge of what is actually historically accurate, because right. oh, that's mm. important for other reasons. Hmm. Okay, well, this is, uh, not a plan. I'll just put that out there. This is, yeah, this oh, you're is... not gonna lie in this bed you made? Yeah, okay, let's, um, let's try anything else. 26. Oh, that also sucks. I don't, I don't, when I roll, just mint Rager every once in a while. Right, don't show yourself. This, this won't be so bad, and I have a I have a backup plan. Like so, the phases aren't so bad. It's it's five thousand total um, health, but split over three phases: fifteen, fifteen, two thousand. Uh, and you need to have all three souls equipped at the second end of the second phase. Oop. Uh, no. Weirdly enough, this boss doesn't resist dark. Kalik Bolg is a very good weapon in this fight. At least I don't, I don't think he has a dark resist. It is just slash and curse anyway. Mm -hmm. But can I, can I see Graham on enemy? Uh, I'm... Oh, okay, fine. You got the turn. Whatever, I got... How about this? You take damage. That's a good way of dealing damage, right? Just hit the button that does 150 damage. Yeah, that's what I remember as well, is that Graham is just neutral to everything. So every show is the little weakness bubble against Kalig Bowl. I know I've talked about that a couple times. It annoys me because it shouldn't. But what do you do? Come on. Okay, we're almost done with phase one here. Uh, probably one like Mandragor away. Or, or we're done. Okay. And... Alright. Mandragor, a great armor headhunter. All right, that's what we need. Okay, yeah, this is valid. Here's my game plan. I'm going to shoot Graham in the head 60 times. I can't believe it! How did you come to possess the power of a gun? <laughs> <sighs> he tricked me with a wooden gun! Uh, I'm getting a lubricant. Yet. I just made a mistake. Hmm. So here's a cool uh, thing I talk about a lot in this fight. Um, you can't crouch out of pausing. Well, that's a problem in this fight where you're crouching 50% of the time. Yep. Sure. I'll take ten. Can I do better? Yeah, we can do better. It only checks when he. So when 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 uh, 
when Graham yelled out, no, how did you come to possess that this power? That is the, uh... Th that's the check. You can change souls before and after, but they have to be on during... During that moment, during the, the phase change between two and three. The most deliberate telegraph for when he is about to do this check is when he goes into Power Stone mode. Yeah, he has 1,500 health in that mode, and, like, just just put on the souls when he's in that mode. Like, it's safest. Only the two attacks. I'm gonna not take that hit. Thank you very much. Whether this dumb and way is working here, like, all my other swords are doing, like, 30 anyways, so, like, triple hit 16 is just better. This form has 2,000, and that's the end. The chandelier has, like, what, 3,000? Some dumb number. 5,000? I don't know. A lot. Anyway. So that's Graham down. Let's see what sort of prizes Graham has for us. Hey, Genya. Does he say something different if you don't have the right souls equipped? Yes. Uh, th there's a different message there. If you have the souls, he'll say, No, I can't believe you have this power. And if, he, if you don't, like, his thing will be like, you fool, you absolute moron, you idiot. I don't remember the exact text of it, but it's very much telling you, you, you done messed up. Only you, Dracula, have the keys to your manager's office. Yeah. Only you, Dracula, have the brains to rule Lilat. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, my uh, most recent 12 hours of Hades committed to memory in my mind, but like, when we get to the Chaotic Realm, what kind of boon do you think we're going to get from Chaos? <laughs> hmm. Good question. I don't know how the, the, the with how this run's been going. It's hard to tell. Ooh. Uh. To be honest, we're not doing a whole lot of cast, so I think we're safe to take that penalty in exchange for uh, plus thirty six percent to our attack. Yeah, like we came in planning wizard, but somebody gave us Valman with six 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 six. Come on, damn it! Fine, okay, it's not the, the today is not the day. I took the punch, that, that means I lost that fight. Okay. Alright, so... Pass by Kicker Skeleton, hello, goodbye, happy to see you. We have no goddamn armor, hmm. This sucks, we're gonna take a lot of damage in this fight. Alright, let's see how Valmanway, mm -hmm. let's see how Valmanway does. Again, as I mentioned, and we're gonna be showing off a lot in this fight, uh, four hits on Julius is a, uh, poise break on phase one. Phase two's gonna suck. like that. 19 damage, but... Okay, let's get... What for? Okay. So we want to be low because we want high damage, but we don't want to be too low. So, like, that's the poise break that I'm talking about. He's still getting some looks in. I don't have a lot of healing. Mm. We do have Silver Gun as backup. So let's... Okay. 
Okay, I just need to do a little bit more safe attacking. That was not a safe one, but... Yeah, I think we're quite minus on this trade. <sighs> I mean, what if I just stay at 26 health? It's fine. <sighs> the only reason that worked is that it was three hits to poise break there. Ah, damn it. I like the Danger Mario strats, though. I think this is a good idea here. Because <laughs> 46 to hit is super high for this fight. Yeah. Alright, this is a good one. This is a good fight. Um, I don't have a ton of healing. and I think what I'm actually... God, am I going to want to like, go wake up Hammer? I don't know. I don't have enough... Like... Wow, that damage is god-awful. Hit me a couple times, please. Just come on. Just one more. Come on. Okay. And then... Verse 7. So again, the backdash resets the poise break. Damn. Like, it's definitely helping. Oh, yeah, see, here's the thing. I'm playing one hit from death, which makes this a really exciting fight. Hmm. That, that, that's what I'm having fun with here. I want this to be a fight where... I'm, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bop you there, kick, kick your skeleton. Because we need to be at super low health to be evil, even able to deal damage. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Still can't touch me. Okay, you've successfully touched. part of this fight is going to be phase two because there's not a poise break in that phase. So I don't get these like free hits like that. Damn. I'm having so much fun with this fight even though I'm, I'm dying a bunch on it. Because it's just like... You're just up against the ropes all the time. It's like, oh, yo, all right, yo, fight me. <laughs> I fall over dead. It's like, wait, hold on. That's illegal. Kicker Skeleton, come help. Summons Kicker Skeleton. For aid. Come on, I need you to hit me a couple times. I don't do damage until you hit me like three times. It's good. One more hit, please. Thank you. Did they make a... Tank build in 14 where you were just spec for full enmity and then just immediately went full dex and you just prayed to never get hit ever. <laughs> no. Ooh, okay. I don't want persimmons enough for that. I feel like Dark Knight would fit the bill. Dark Knight is, has like living death where it's like if you would die, you instead just don't die for the next 12 seconds. But you need to get tagged by, like, uh, Tetragrammaton or Benediction, whatever it is. You need to go to full or else you, you die. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. Maybe this plan isn't as good as it feels, but it's still really good. Kicker skeleton. Oh yeah, actually, kicker skeleton, help me out. All right, that's good. Thanks. You're not. There's no Dunbon. There's. There's no. There's. There's. There's because Dunbon's my favorite tank ever. Dunbon is a whole lot of fun. Dunbon who walks around in the nude and just like can't be hit. Uh, oh, Dun uh, Dunbon from Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade Chronicles One. Uh, he he he's the one of the tank. He can play as a tank in that game, but he's a hyper dodge tank. Yeah, you, um, you give him all the evasion in the world, and he just doesn't get hit. You have your standard tank that just has a whole lot of health and needs to get hit. That's the Ryan. And then time, you have maybe. Dunbon. Yeah, that's Ryan. And then you have Dunbon who is a full dex tank and does not want to be hit. Yeah, I... My play out on with Xenoblade Chronicles is when the remake comes out on the, the Wii, I am going to stream the entirety of that. Same. I am super, super excited for that specific game. No. No. Yeah, Switch. What, did I say something other than Switch? Oh, uh, you said Wii. Right, it, it is a Wii title, but... Thing is, a lot like Final Fantasy XII, you really don't need to put a whole lot of effort into remastering, aside from, you know, UI and some quality of life stuff, because... The textures are already kind of there. It was the same story as Final Fantasy XII, where they had uh, high, super high resolution textures that standard resolution TVs just could not do justice to. Yeah, but Get out of the corner. Oh, that's a that's a point. Ooh, shit. All right. Phase two, huh? Yeah, let's see if this strat is viable going in. I don't think it's viable in phase two, so... Um... I think we're just going to have to shoot him with deadly guns. Oh, this is a bad idea. Damn it. So, the, the, okay, the reason I freaked out there is that that cross goes forward and back, and it goes back infinitely. So, uh... So, like, if you jump over uh, our friend there, and, like, jump over the cross, the cross will just come back and slap you in the face. Which is why I was, you know, going, oh god, oh shit, and... Okay, I need you to hit me a couple times, please. Alright, that's good enough. 28's throwing. Actually, that's that's good. That's one hit from lethal. Okay, that's a little lower than I want to be, but... But yeah, Dunbon is a great tank because, like... Like, again, playing dodge tank is such a weird thing because, like... You know, it's like, oh, you take the hit and you die, but it's like, no, as long as the game is balanced towards it, it's okay. Yeah, like, uh, the game is absolutely specced for Dunban to do his job and do it well. Right. Like, Dunban Riki Shulk is such a prolific team in Xenoblade 1 that it came back in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, there's... Yeah, also, Dunbon could put out some pretty huge numbers while doing that, yes. Awesome bats. 
Sure. Like, there's not a whole lot of stuff on my shopping list for uh, things to want to be removed from Xenoblade 1 other than, you know, uh, spike damage. Just get rid of that, please. I understand wanting to get rid of that. I, I... Respec it. Okay, maybe rebalance it at yeah, the very least. Make least. it not as dumb as it is on some enemies. I do hate it on certain enemies. Um, also, can we have the AI play Melia comp competently, please? I know the answer's no, but, like, can we please? Uh, can we also, like, not force you to have night vision materia equipped just to deal with the accuracy penalty that you get from higher level enemies? I actually hate that, because there's enemies who are above you in, in, um... In, in, in like, you can't reach them in level. Yeah, like, you stop at 99, bosses don't. So, like, you have to to fight enemies that are above, like, 99. You have to, like, do really, really dumb levels of grinding, which I just gave up. I didn't do. I don't care. I, I, did, I, 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 I just don't. despised the, the game telling me, no, you're not allowed to whittle down this boss with your with skill and cunning. Just your we'll make the number so that you just can't do that. I'm just like, fuck off. Come on. Enough of that from Record Keeper. Fuck off. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, God, like the f the super boss that you fought on top of the mountain at night that was like level 120. Yeah, the final. And on one. top of the evasion buff, it also had like counter spike death. Like just every hit, chance to inflict instant death on you. You like Zabbers? I'll show you Zabbers. Goddamn go. Slayfo with deadly guns. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Loon. We uh, we just uh, we just shot uh, Julius to death. We, we um we had our, our our A plan, which was um using uh, Valman Way because Valman Way rules. But uh, phase two of Julius doesn't have the poise break, so uh, instead we went with deadly guns. Um, I think... <sighs> I think I know myself well enough and that I need to, uh... hit up a warp point. Yeah. Where's... You just gonna go straight for hammer, or...? Yeah. I know my... Oh, Because the, the, the problem is I don't... Oh, you know what? No, let's find out. We, we can walk into to, to, to hell, right? Yeah, all right. Let's walk into hell. Like, as long yeah, as but... Chaos Phase 2 doesn't take ones from your Valman Way, then we're good. Yeah, if it takes ones from Valman Way, then we're very bad, because that's the only weapon I currently have. So let's let's just go see. We also have a couple items on the way in. Yeah, so we're nearing the end of our second randomizer, which is going to be our, 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 our last one of the night. So uh, hello to everybody jumping in from Loon's side. We're, we're just... We're reaching towards the end here. Hello, buddy. We are defeating demons through, uh, through lots of punching. And? Sure, I'll take a super potion. That's a full heal. And for the folks that, uh, just joined in and are wondering, like, mm, do I need to stick around? Well, uh, if we run into a brick wall, hey, that's just more content for you. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. I don't think we'll hit that bad of a brick wall. Yeah. Because the thing is, right now, I also have a super potion and a... Um, 
and a melon, so I do two full heals for the fight. Usually I have a little more than that going in, but that just means I have to play a little safer. I can wake up the melon. Yeah, also, like, Valvin Way mechanically is a very good weapon for that fight. Alright, now we get some Aranesses and a big old demon. Hello, say goodbye to the demon. I have school, alright. Yeah, I just didn't want to... Okay, oof. So I was scared for a little bit there, I didn't actually have Skula. And I was just about... Huh. Okay. We had to check. Okay, alright. We still don't have armor. Uh, Orlox's suit is better than what we have. So it's that, armor. That's armor. I didn't want to take that stab. I stole this. I stole this. Like, we've had tools for these last few parts, but we still have had to fight for every scrap we've got. Yeah, and we're... Okay. There's nothing in here. I always think there is. There ain't. Just a mimic. Alright. Let's go ahead and commit. So I think I should be fine on this first part. Like, things don't have defense. Velman way should just be able to... Well, it'll be low damage, but it should be able to tear through. Yeah, first phase is pretty tame. Especially since we're relying on... Yeah, okay, 56. Yeah, thank you very much. Makes me a little bit more optimistic about the numbers on the orb. Yeah. Okay, again, I don't have a lot of healing, so... Ooh, dang. Gives me back lubricant. Yeah, that 56 was at full health with Lubicante, without uh, Lubicante and everything, so... Mm. Yeah, we should be doing just fine. Let's see how... Yeah, all right, this checks out. That's one eyeball down. Okay, Dryad's actually tech while you are busy working on the eyes. Yeah, a little bit of a damage loss. But, like, we need to not die. You know, there's, there's balancing, you know, my... I'm about to take an explosion and take a second, third, and fourth hit. Oh my god! Holy shit. Okay. That was the that was the, the combo I was talking about earlier where like 
the, the dot explosions are incredibly dangerous. Still ones. I think you were at lower health when you last checked. Okay, that's doable though. Oh, we get this the ending. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Add credits. Roll. And that's the randomizer. <laughs> yeah, you get that ending on de Death to Chaos specifically. Um, it's pretty rad. Yeah. The, the Soma becomes a true Dracula, and Julius is there to win. <laughs> so... Lubicante is where your damage can get flipped on, but you uh, need to be a pretty low health for it to get flipped on. Yes. It, it, it danger Mario's in a fight that's very hard to danger Mario in. Really, the, the problem in that, that was that I took, I lost a full like health bar to like a, a, a combo hit where I took three explosions for 450, and that's most of my health. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it still gives you the whole and you and so I was I was half expecting when uh I was half expecting when Soma and Yoko just came up on screen and would just say Tupac lives. <laughs> Tupac lives. You didn't collect all the Chaos Emeralds. Right. <laughs> but for real. If Soma could be Julius before, why would Julius stand a chance? In the dialogue after the, the fight, uh, when Soma yells, Stop! I've had enough! Uh, he specifically says, You were holding back, weren't you? You, you know... Because Julius was specifically not fighting to kill there. Um, so yeah, w even in that fight, you're not fighting Julius fully. You're fighting Julius who is who is conflicted, who doesn't really want to kill you. I skip over the dialogue. I, you know, I, I hit start and go past it. So, you know, that's, that's not like, you know, ah, you missed it sort of thing. Like, the spirit of the randomizer is you just mash through cutscenes while you're busy. Yeah. But no, like, uh, the whole thing with Julius is that he is uh, the final part of the Belmont bloodline. He is their most strongest champion by far. Like, he's the dude that actually beat Dracula for good. So. Yeah, he's the one who defeated Dracula and had him dead. Uh, the other, my other favorite, like, power of uh, Julius thing is in Dawn. There's a thing where like beating none of the, the bosses are all like unkillable, um, unless you have specifically these seals. The, the touchscreen gimmick. The touchscreen gimmick of the game, and like the um, yeah, like you didn't use Hydro Storm on me. Like, come on. Yeah, in in Dawn, there's a boss that Julius fights off screen and beats. Even though it has the uh, the touchscreen seal, he just kills it anyway. <laughs> it's like, wasn't that boss immortal? He's like, what are you what are you talking about? I killed it. 
<laughs> so I mean, you just gotta hit it really, really hard. Oh shit. I'm about to die. <laughs> ah. What if you just hit them really mm -hmm. hard? That sounds like something Goku would say. <laughs> yes, and do you remember all of those times when you never beat him? <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Team Four Star. Y'all did some real good work. <gasps> did you see that old that snipe? Yeah, that was pretty clutch. Come on, let's just get you. Oh, no, I don't want to be near, near you. Yep, that's what I thought. Chaos 2, where 90% of the screen isn't the bad place. Sure, you could take a mad hit, because that does a little bit to my damage. Twos. Okay. Actually, I need a soul set to not Mandragora. I mean, if we're cruising on ones, why not? Yeah. Um. Might as well try and stay near full health. I hate these tiny orbs. They're the worst. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, four dead and we're still cruising on ones? It's Muramasa, how you look? 20... 20 double? That better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than ones. Fucking hell. Lubicante is slowly coming online. Let's check. We're actually at a pretty hefty strength boost. This health total scares me. There's a couple things in this fight that deal more than that damage. Like the ball. The ball will kill me from this health total, but I need the damage. The snake deals 100 or so, so that's fine. The orbs deal 150, and I can see them coming. Also, you have to stand still for the spear part. I'm about to die. Um, there's the explosion. So that's the, that delay explosion I was talking about. How, again, it... You know what? Well, that gives me damage. Okay, I die to anything now. And so does it. Ooh! <laughs> Time. <laughs> I love it. The, the Danger Mario is pretty fun. <laughs> That's up skulls, yes. Alright. Anyway, that's Randomizer 2. Um, it was a little longer. We didn't do any of the underwater, though. So. <laughs> Congratulations. Bill Nottas.
Tails. Goodbye, Yoko. So does Hammer show up in this? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I just got set played. <laughs> oh, who's Hammer? I don't know who that is. Look, at some point, sometime, somebody's going to Dracula again. So, alright, Danger Mario strats worked. Pretty happy about that. That was a fun one. I've never done Velmin Way as my final weapon. And I think that's only doable with Lubicant. Yeah, uh, it was honestly wild to see just how the numbers changed when you were at, like, full to low health. Right, when I'm at full health, even with all four eyes killed, that's one. It, it was still on one damage, it's so low. So. Yeah, and it was just like, in order to get to reasonable damage, you're just gonna be, like, chuckling in the back of the bus yelling, <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Just all the beeping. Anyway, that's that's this has been Ari of Sar Randomizer. Thank you everybody for joining. Thank you, Loon, for the host. Thank you everybody who showed up uh, and enjoyed the the runs. Uh, next thing on tap on Sunday, uh, three central. Uh, we're going to be continuing the misadventures of Tron Bon. I think the idea is I want to do that in three streams. So this one will be the second, and then the next one will be the, the last one because the game's actually quite short. So that'll be on Sunday. Uh, v Priz will be with me for that as well. Yeah. There may or may not be cards tomorrow. It depends on life. I don't know. We'll see. If there aren't cards tomorrow, Tuesday is going to be a Popper Cube stream because that's what's on MTGO this week. So. And Monday will still be uh, our regularly scheduled Final Fantasy Tactics uh, Advanced or A2. Now, if you want to find out when any of that stuff's going on, you can always follow, see when I go live, subscribe for cool skulls, cool slimes. Uh, I'm just happy you're here having a good time. This has been, uh, been sweet. Oh, see, look, all our friends are there this time instead of just Mina and, <laughs> and Soma. All of our friends and then this one dude who I've never met before. Who's, yeah, who's that guy? All right. Thank you all for joining, everybody. Night. Good night.